And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Barden Finders. I'm your host, CRPG Guy, and let's get it done. Okay, so when we last left off, I'm going to push the mic back a little bit. When we last left off, uh, we were getting ready to go to the Red Barn, or the Red River Barn, or whatever it's called. And there's something I wanted to do first, but I just want to check. We've been finding some of the comics. Let's go ahead. Bingo. It should work. And let's buy this guy. It's 6K. That's a great purchase. Since we haven't had to deal with beehives yet, we're not going to upgrade this. See you later, partner. Because that should give us the ability. Let's see. Use chicken sonar to look for hard-to-find items. Hold primary action button to charge sonar. Release it to activate. Cold, warm, hot. So as we go into these harder areas or zones, we should be pretty well off, one would think. All right. Let's buy the gas. Let's travel. Because worst case scenario is if we can't afford it, we just have to rerun through all of the old locations. Did a tank just drive by us? Anywho, we'll figure it out. I see a fox. I see Mr. Fox. At a Miko special event, of course. All right. Well, let's get right to it then. Alright, let's do this. Let them bid a little bit. Oh my god. We got it for half of what we needed. Okay, well, no complaint from me, then. I mean, shit. I say good deal. We made off like a fucking crook somehow. I figured we were going to spend up upwards of $8,000. Eight, eight, yeah, so... Okay, we'll come back in here a little later, though. There's a door there. What we got here? Nice. Nice. We'll take that with us. Oh, it was okay. It was just trash. Okay, we'll head that way after we deal with over here. So let's see. You'll never find my secret bunker. Fox will let me know. They're watching me. They're watching me. Oh boy. Crazy dude. We'll just break all of it so we can be sure that nothing's blocking anything. He's seen the end of his days. 
Base to the secret space fleet arrival. Tasty string. Days to the U.S. Secret Space Fleet arrival. God. It's clearly something in that other stall. We'll check that out in a minute. cement mixer okay uh, let's check up a pie I love how Fox is on the latch So I'm assuming that not just the Mr. Gray stuff, but aliens will exist in this world. Clearly. Quite clearly. We'll never find the secret bunker, but I have a pretty good idea. I think I know where it is. Okay. So we've roughly explored everything up here. Yeah. Well, we found the bunker. But before we do anything, there's another path. So let's see where this goes. Nice. Okay, so that requires a key. Down the bunker. Hit that. Okay. There's a comic. Wait a minute. There's something back there. Insane. That's 
That's why I've been here for more than a week. It's just me and Mr. Fox now. We really got to keep our eyes peeled because there could be stuff anywhere at this point. There's a piece for the shop. Getting a little warning sound that something else is nearby. <coughs> Probably the hint that they have a comic. You know this is the first person who we could actually hear the voiceover for? Almost like this could be like a much more intricately cool game. So I hope they make a sequel. You know, other than just more DLC and really kind of expand on some of the ideas because their humor is, I like the humor. There's a charm to, to this game that I can't quite place but I do enjoy it. Redneckian kind of concept of being a barn finder, I guess. And we cleared out that room. Yeah, that opens to there. Hear it. I don't see it. I can't believe we didn't really find anything in here. Oh, wait. Oh, son of a bitch. 75. There is proof that our planet has been and still continues to be visited by extraterrestrial life. But until we are able to capture and study them, the question will remain. Do aliens really exist and why do they need so much moonshine? <laughs> Why do they need so much moonshine? I know that's the new, so their new source of fuel. They can't leave because they enjoy drinking it too much. Yeah, I, I got this figured out. So we got a lot of stuff to fix. It makes sense that we as much materials as we can.
When this war is over, Mr. Fox and I are going to open this mine once again. <clears throat> okay. She's lost her she's lost her rocker. I mean I like Mr. Fox too. Still. Okay. We've got two doors that don't require key cards, so let's uh Can we tackle this one first? Whatever is making that noise is clearly in the next room. Looks like a slightly different guitar, but couldn't really tell. We found the key card for that room, but let's check this one. We're walking on somebody poop, and I know it. Nice. Oh, we didn't walk on anybody pooping. So we're seeing all these little alien pictures. Interesting. But to us rednecks, it's just money. Okay, so a lot of these are repeated, too. From what we saw on the wall. Prince of the Golden Beer. Oh, we can't get that. Ooh, another key card. Day 256. The space fleet never came. I'm willing to go outside. Naked, but not afraid. Maybe I can see the sun one more time. Naked, but not afraid are the two things I don't want to hear from somebody who's clearly slightly unstable. We're just getting a crap ton of money from this. relatively clean this room out not really finding anything new other than the two key cards the green one and the red one we know there's a secret goodie in here because we can hear it we've been hearing it for quite a while here we go I'm kind of tired of hearing it purple key card 
day, Mr. Fox was very sick. Symptoms of diarrhea, dehydration, and feckaloid vomit. During our sleep, they poisoned our food with their normal <coughs> cognitive neural weapons. But we don't need food. Our genes are strong, like Dad used to say. <laughs> oh my god. This lady's clearly off her rocker. Alright, well we were finding all kinds of stuff, just nothing super unique, not anything too crazy. But we are finding things, and that, that's what's important, right? Continues us forward, I think. Love it. Because, you know, it's going to be something. Ooh. Well, what we came here looking for. Which, when you think about it, that kind of makes sense. checking these rooms to make sure there's no extra little like gratings that I might have missed no well only one place left to go That's the way out, which we should unlock. We don't have a key. I have a feeling that's the key. Let's unlock the door. We're not done yet. Poop paper. Okay, I don't see anything else, so let's jump back. Okay. So I, I'm assuming we found everything there is to find currently. There might be some stuff behind these things here. We'll check. Yeah. Should be cold. Let me find a secret chamber. It almost looks like there's a platform over there. Can't get over 
there, and I don't see anything else, so let's move on. <clears throat> Alright, well, that kind of does it for this. Oops. Nice. That's going to do it, I think, for this zone. I think for now. We got a tractor to take back. We did good. We spent nowhere near as much money as I thought we were going to spend. That worked out. Worked out real good. Let's take a look at our bounty. <clears throat> uh, one of these Roy Daver chairs, a classic rocky chair from the early 20th century, handmade from beech wood and protected with clear matte varnish and wax. I think I've read that one before. The XT100 guy. It can efficiently clean all kinds of floors. It's small and lightweight design still has space for a five liter bag, which means you can clean even more. Adventurous. This hat plays with material and color contrasts in a charming way. It always looks distinctive and timeless. Jacobian wood. A metamorphic two part hinge wood chair, wood and high, a cane high chair. A few historical wormholes and a case work in good condition. CFJ mixer. Suitable for construction sites, roads, bridges, and fabrication sites of small members. Another Mr. Fox. Another EO3 Hyper. With these strong chassis and well-proven components, this not electric forklift has shown strong performance in all kinds of industries. I think we've read this. Hellstorm backpack. Designed for the American forestry and controlled burn specialist, this backpack is the epitome of flamethrowing technology. <clears throat> Zebaru, a light, small, quiet, portable, and easily a light, small, quiet, portable, quite portable, and easily to operate. Also, is safe for users as cutting without sparks in sediment. Okay, Robeck lens. No scratches, hazes, no scratches, haze, or fungus. This aperture ring turns very smoothly with clean blades. No focus ring, but fixed lens focus. This must be for the camera. We've read the cutter. <clears throat> H2O booster. It can be used to store and transport the liquefied oxygen, argon power, and nitrogen, and natural gas. Judgment Day. Expand your gas storage and fueling options made out of high-grade steel with a, wel with a welding construction. Whoa, I think okay. Simple uh, White Hill table, <clears throat> simple, stylish design, functional and suitable for any room. Fits in your space, fits on your budget. Easy 47 minute assembly. Cola Cola stand 100% functional and ready to be placed in service. It is equipped with a standard bill acceptor and coin mechanism. Samurai turtle. Made of terracotta and high fired with smooth textures, crafted from finely filtered clay. Uh, I think we have not read this. Overwood Memories. It features a handmade decoration and a hand-polished style, making this retro typewriter more contemporary. The few few. This is different than the other guitars. Ability training, manual brain, vision, sensory, emotional hearing, animal communication, and hand-eye coordination. We've read that before. We've read, I think, that. 78% handmade stand, natural wood, and suitable for multiple utilities. Break style. Two slice toaster for toasting one or two slices of bread at a time. Features a sleek black appearance for attractive everyday style. Hyperman. A millennium edition comic book. It displays the first appearance of the cow back in 1949. Cosmo backpack. Aliens beware when you're on the scene. Space won't ever be the same after you're done. Blast off to infinite possibilities and then another H2O booster. Okay. Um, and when we got that uh, craft as well. That is clearly not showing too well. Why is that happening like that? Oh my god. Well, that just happened. Okay. Back at the shop, we got a few things that we can fiddle around with once we bring everything in. Clearly. Alright, let's take a look. 
this mixer can be repaired. That's why we searched for all that stuff and there's still something broken. I think maybe maybe it did fix and I didn't notice, but we'll check it out. This is gonna be just a lot of metal. Good thing we got a lot. I guess some string too. Yeah, we didn't get that message, so there's still something wrong with the mixer. I think we have everything to rebuild the camera now. Let's do the soda machine, and then we'll figure out the stand mixer. I think it's missing the we're missing the lens too. Yeah, shit, we'll figure it out. No, actually, I do think we have everything, but we do need to figure that out. We need to fix the stinky guitar. Where is the broken piece? There it is. Why I missed that? <laughs> More like a ukulele. I guess I just now have two of these. Yep, I do. I just, they just don't really, the glitch, it's another glitch. I'm finding lots of glitches, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably some kind of duping trick. When you think about it, you put everything in and then you rotate it in and then you take everything off and then you have duplicates. Probably really what it is. <clears throat> but that's cheating. All right, there's a done item. Let's see what we need here. I don't think we have anything for that. I think we actually have like a portion of that.
We're missing the handle for the safe, I know that. And we ended up with another safe door. Oh boy. Or it's for one of these. But I think we're just gonna start putting shit in and figuring out what goes where. But all that's missing is the gun. The actual... What? It took my thing away. What the shit? Oh, hell no. Oh, this game and its glitches. Ah. Oh. Please tell me it's in here. Nope. Oh, it means it's gone, gone. Which means we can't finish that. I, I think we're missing a frog, too. We'll try the frogs next, but I, I get a strong feeling that we're missing stuff. And it's just the game is glitching and forcing things to not appear. Which is a shame, because that needs to really... It really needs to be something they need to address. Now, this is an older game, I know, but still. All that's missing is the latch. That's going to piss me off. We needed one more item to complete this. And the game was like, yeah, I yeah, noticed that. And we're going to make it disappear on you. Uh, and all we do is have an extra camera stand. I don't know. Maybe that stuff will reappear. But that's still really annoying. <clears throat> all right. Let's do with the f deal with the frogs. See what frogs we're actually missing. We might have most of it. Missing like one or two, that's for sure. But there's still time for us to find him. Look at him, he's riding a little unicycle. Love it. And we're missing, I think, two because we have what one more frog in store in stock. Missing, we're missing two frogs. So we're almost there with the frogs. I don't know how we can finish that without the part that it absorbed. So that'll be a thing in and of itself. Alright, well, it is what it is. Let's turn in the quest item. Who knows, maybe they'll show up later, you know. Alright. And thus, we are done. So... We're getting further in the game. We're running into more glitches that are starting to get a little obnoxious. We've, we're finding all the golden toilet paper, which is lucky for us. The Salty River Barn. That is not what they called it. Psycho Tree Studies. I guess it doesn't matter. They're just making references, I guess. All right. 
So anyway, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash for more live gaming action. Because when we come back, we're going to either go to the next area and loot all the stuff we can find there. Or we're going to try to sell off some more stuff. I don't think we'll need to. So we'll have to see how that plays out. So with that said, thanks for stopping by, guys. And we'll see you guys next time.